Namaste. Greetings, my friends. This is Rhonda, and I'm coming to you live from Greenport, New York, way out on the east end of Long Island. I welcome you um, to One Breath Global Meditation Room, and tonight we will learn a little bit about the ancient practice of Ho'oponopono, which is, uh, it's been practiced for thousands of years in the Hawaiian Islands. Um, I learned about this several years ago from Dr. Joe Vitale. He introduced it to me and then I was super blessed I went with my friends Dusty and Christine, and we went to hear the modern originator of Ho'oponopono, Dr. Hulen, I Haleakala Hulen. And that was quite the experience. He's retired now, so it was a super special treat to be taught by him. So I'll invite you to find a comfortable spot to sit or lie down. And if you are sitting, I the one meditation that practice that I'm going to teach you, um, it's recommended to do it sitting in a chair with your feet touching the floor. So if you can do that, that's cool. I'm not doing that. I'm sitting cross-legged on a cushion on the floor. If you want to lie down on your couch and, you know, at some time, um, if it speaks to you, you can practice it sitting with your feet on the ground. So turn the ringers down, invite anybody in the house to join you or find a little quiet spot and settle down. I'm just going to take some centering breath, cleansing breath, and breathe way down into the belly. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that a few times. Sometimes it's helpful to, as you breathe in, lift your shoulders up towards your ears, and then as you exhale, let them fall towards the ground. And if you're sitting, put your hands on your lap with your, your hands open. And then tonight, though, we're actually going to do a mudra. Um, and it's a very simple mudra, just your index finger and thumb together. So just rest the backs of your hands on your thighs or on the side of the chair, whatever's comfortable for you. And attention on our lower dantian, that's that area that's right behind the navel. And say in your mind, I am in the universe and the universe is in me. The universe and I are one. Just gently breathing. And as you breathe, I'm going to read a, a Hawaiian prayer. And I will read it translated, not in the Hawaiian because I'm not very good at pronouncing the Hawaiian. And it's called I am the I. I come forth from the void into light. I am the breath that nurtures life. I am that emptiness, that hollowness beyond all consciousness. The I, the id the all. I draw 
my bow of rainbows across the waters, the continuum of minds with matters. I am the incoming and outgoing of breath, the invisible, untouchable breeze, the undefinable atom of creation. I am the I. And a lot of you may be familiar with the term aloha. A lot of us think it means hello. And although it is a greeting, aloha really means be in the presence of God. And ha, God, breath. Ha is the divine breath. And that is the breathing meditation that I'm going to teach you. So as you're just gently breathing, I'll explain it to you and then we can try it together. And what ha is, it's a four step breath. The inhalation, we hold it. The exhalation, and we hold. And we're going to do that seven times. And each part to a count of seven. So it's not seven seconds, it's a count of seven. So if you breathe more quickly or a little more slowly, you just do it to your own rhythm and you adjust it as you go. It takes a little while to, to get the hang of it, but once you do, it's, it's really quite beautiful and it's the breath of vitality. You're going to inhale divine energy, allow that energy to permeate every cell. As we exhale, we're releasing anything unwanted. And as we hold, it's just an eager anticipation and thanksgiving for the next breath. Let's start that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you continue that. And I'm not going to count just because I know we all have different rhythms of breathing. So as we breathe in, a count of seven, hold it a count of seven, exhale a count of seven, hold it a count of seven. And we're going to do that seven times. can hear the music playing in the background, just softly focus on that as you do your ha breathing, the breathing in of divine energy, infusing your body with light, releasing any toxins, unwanted thoughts or memories and holding for a count of seven. This centers your body, your mind, your spirit, relaxes you, releases stress. And 
enlivens you with divine energy. Again, seven rounds of breathing. Inhaling to a count of seven. Holding for a count of seven. Exhaling for a count of seven. Holding for a count of seven. Using our body with light, with love, releasing extra energy, any anxiety, any pain or disease, breathing in serenity, breathing in joy. Allowing it to flow to wherever it's needed, releasing that which is unwanted, stored memories, problems, and holding with thanksgiving and awaiting the next breath. That is the Ha breathing meditation, the divine breath. And this is recommended anytime you're going to do Ho'oponopono. And now you can just breathe whatever's comfortable for you tension on your breath, softly focusing on my words. So the Hawaiians believe that any time that a problem came up, that it was always easily resolved and healed by the process of atonement, of bringing to light if it was a problem between two people, they would join, the whole community would come together and they would talk about it and the community would just love them, would just love on them. And the four phrases that Ho'oponopono is best known for and that provides this clearing, this cleansing process is I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, Please forgive me. Thank you. And it doesn't matter what order you say these in. Sometimes people prefer to just say, I love you, thank you. For me, I, I kind of change, but most recently it's been Father, Abba, God, thank you, I love you. I love you, Father, thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And what this process does is it helps to clean away the stored memories that cause problems. You know that monkey mind. 
all those thoughts that keep replaying and replaying. Dr. Len describes it like it's a computer screen. And everything that's on the computer is just because we're bringing it up. And we can delete, 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 delete. We can close those windows. And his story is a very interesting one. I won't go into that now, but maybe in another session. And that's it. It's very, very simple. And for myself, I found that once I started practicing the Ho'oponopono statements, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I found that it became a mantra, always in the back of my mind, always playing. Just it was like a loop. And not like that song that gets stuck in your head that kind of gets annoying. You get this stuck in your head. It feels freeing. It feels clearing. It feels good. And you know that as you go about your day, you're just sending out this vibration into the universe. Another important part of Ho'oponopono is that we take responsibility for everything in our world. Anything that shows up or something that we attracted and that by taking that responsibility when we do the cleaning and the clearing with the Ho'oponopono we are not really, I guess kind of fixing whatever is not right in us when we fix that and we release those memories Whatever was causing the problem in, in a friend of ours or a situation, what's going on in the community, things begin to fall away. Because when we take responsibility for what's going on in our lives, and we say, I love you, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. It is this cleaning and this clearing and this atonement that the Hawaiians believe. So that when we are washed away of these thoughts and memories that keep replaying, that we can come to this blank slate Back to Zero, Dr. Joe Vitale, I think that's the name of his book, um, something about Zero, but it's the whiteboard, that's where God resides, the whiteboard, divinity. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you very sweet. It's very simple. You can say it in whatever order feels good. You can just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. When you do the ha breath, relaxing, releasing, and then begin to do this process. There's another component 
that I'll touch on takes a lot more um, explanation than what I have time for right now, but there are three parts of our body, which I think a lot of people in modern times will agree with, and we call it our spiritual self, our conscious mind, and our, our subconscious, our physical. So in the Hawaiian, I wrote these down so I wouldn't get them wrong, the spirit, the spiritual component of our self is called the Amakua. And the Amakua is the father. And then the conscious mind is the mother, the Uhane. And the subconscious, the child within, is the Inihilipili. And Dr. Lin taught that when we can connect with our inner child, that this process of Ho'oponopono, of the cleaning, of the clearing, is facilitated so much more quickly and efficiently when we connect with our inner child. I'm just going to do a quick touch on this aspect of Ho'oponopono. And I think um, this really takes a, a longer session to get the full benefit from, but let's just, as you're breathing gently, Saying the words, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Look within, in your heart center, and imagine, notice, there's a small child there. Could be three, four, five, six years old. Toddler, young child. And you greet the child, you say hello. And you tell the child, I love you, and I'm sorry, I didn't know that you were here, please forgive me, thank you. And as, as you look at the young child, you ask permission of the child, you say, little one, is it okay? If I take your hand, I would like to just softly hold your hand and caress it. And if the child says that it's all right, do that. Just imagine that you're taking the hand of this small child very gently. And you put your other hand on top and you say, you know what? You are so beautiful. I love you. I'm so sorry that I've neglected you. Please forgive me. Thank you. And what we're looking to do is to gain the trust of our inner child. Most of us never knew about child within but that little child our subconscious sorry about that our subconscious has always been there and when we can look within and see the small child that small child 
can help us tremendously in finding those stored memories and helping us to release them without us having to replay them, without having to relive the memories. Or when we have this relationship that we build, a sweet relationship with our inner child, that we can ask the child for help in doing ho'oponopono, in releasing those memories that cause problems so that we can begin to get back to zero, to that whiteboard within our alignment with Source, with Divinity. So, say goodbye to the little child and say thank you. I promise to come back and spend more time with you. I love you. Thank you. Put your attention on your heart. And one more time, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Just breathing softly, deeply, and fully, feeling that joy in your heart feeling lighter, feeling serenity, peace. A little happier. Three more breaths, in and out. If you're ready to come out, you can massage your hands, rub your hands together. We're going to massage our face. Massage our ears. was the Reader's Digest version of Ho'oponopono. It's, um, it's very simple, but again, like meditation, it needs practice and really looking deep within and seeing all the richness and the fullness and the beauty of this ancient process where by repeating these beautiful, simple phrases, we can cleanse our soul, our mind, stress. And like I said, there's a lot more depth that we can go into with the Ho'oponopono. I'm wondering if maybe I, I can do, if I do a longer talk, maybe like, it would probably be like an hour. I don't know if you guys are into something that long, but I think that would give it at least a little more clarity for you. Um, there's a lot of fun ways of cleaning um, that Dr. Len taught us. One involves a pencil, candy canes, jelly beans, ginger snaps. Um, it's really like a little bizarre, but it works. And his story is amazing. Um, 
if you if there's lots of videos on YouTube um, and his name is is Dr. Who Len it's H-E-W-L-E-N but if you look up Ho'oponopono and you can look at the video to see how to um, spell it and look on YouTube um, and for him you'll see some of his teachings and the name of the company is Izzy LLC I-Z-I LLC um, I'm just going to take a quick look see who I see I see Miss Donna hi Donna how's your new puppy and Don hi Donald how's in Florida do you have like a hurricane or something coming I don't know what area it's going to Wannies hi Wannies how are you honey and John hi John I saw you posted that your um, elevator was out I hope they fixed it oh my goodness Jamie hi beautiful Jamie and Terry hi Terry He's a great Qigong teacher. And Courtney. Oh, Courtney, my friend Courtney. Kirtan. One of these days, we have to do one together, Courtney, and get you doing a little Kirtan. That'd be great. And Nori. Oh, my soul sister Nori. Hi, sweetheart. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions about this Ho'oponopono, message me. I'm more than happy to help you. And... I do use this with my coaching clients. A lot of them um, have a lot of fun with it and find it relaxing and beneficial. You know, it's it's um, kind of like a magic eraser. So from my heart to yours, namaste. See you soon. Bye-bye.